If you're about to start a large painting program is by investing in a paint sprayer. While sprayers aren't necessary for every job, they certainly have their place. In this guide, I'll share ex- In this guide, I'll share everything I know about these devices, including my favorite accessories, painting tips, and of course a list of sprayers I think are great. We aren't talking about the spray cans that you shake up. Paint sprayers, sometimes known as paint guns, are powerful machines designed to spray paint in the most efficient way possible. The paint sprayer is actually an evolved form of the airbrush, a more artsy kind of tool. Paint sprayers are heavier duty, meant for completing home improvement projects or similar tasks. Using the old brush roller method can be exhausting. If you have a paint sprayer, you can do more than spray it at evil spirits. You can take long, dull painting sessions and turn them into quicker, easier events. It might even be a bit of fun. Number 3. Graco Magnum 5X7 Paint Sprayer. 5X7 Paint Sprayer. If paint sprayers were people, this one leather jacket. The Magnum X7 is a big boy, and it ain't your daddy's paint sprayer. Well, unless your daddy was a professional painter, in which caddy was a professional painter, in which case he ought to have been using one. This is a professional grade unit, stainless steel, hefty, and totable via wheeled cart. The pressure is totally adjustable, meaning it's got versatility out the wazoo. What is a wazoo anyway? This unit also connects to a garden hose for faster cleanups, and it has a little function called reverse a clean for clearing out the clogged tip of the hose. This happens with paint sprayers, be ready. The hose is a mite short, unfortunately, which is odd, considering how professional level all its other components are. It's 25 feet, which may not meet your needs. If that's the case, you can always buy a longer hose. Number 2. Wagner 05 Max Paint Sprayer. Spray Max Paint Sprayer. Here's another HVLP paint sprays. The actual gun component is super light and easy to handle. This is really smart design, since it helps to prevent the deadly hand cramp that paint sprayers the deadly hand cramp that paint sprayers are so famous for giving users. Variable spray pattern width, pressure control, multiple spray patterns. Not bad. The plastic is about as durable as that of any plastic unit, but for the price, that's acceptable. A short hose is definitely one of the noticeable cons here, but the ability to reach difficult areas with a light gun piece is so sweet that we had to include it on our list of the paint sprayers. Home Right C800766 Finish Max Paint Sprayer. MM. That is one delicious price. This is a dream come true for budgeting painters who need to get the job done. Is it the best paint sprayer the world has ever seen? Well, no. But it makes our list for the sheer value. This thing is like finding pretty good Chinese takeout to feed a family of five for ten bucks including tip. It's a steal. The home right costs more than ten dollars, but for a paint sprayer, this transaction feels just right. It's versatile, adjustable, and has three separate spraying patterns. It's plastic, yes, but that's no surprise given the price point. Did you think the Wagner was light at 12-ish pounds? Try 3.4 pounds. If you have ever wanted to juggle paint sprayers at a painting party, this is your chance to do that without a hospital bill. We kid, please don't juggle your painting machinery. Number 1. Graco Magnum 25 Paint Sprayer. X5 Paint Sprayer. This is one hell of a paint sprayer for the homeowners or professional painters. Adjustable pressure. Check. Indoor, outdoor project adaptability. Check. Steel ptability. Check. Steel piston pump for rapid job completion. You get the idea. The adapter can even be hooked up to a standard garden hose for easy cleanup. As much as we love this one, it's not ideal for larger projects. Medium and smaller will be your best bet with the Magnum. Bang. It's very durable, so it ought to last you a long time and see a lot of use. It's a tad on the heavy side, though. Make sure to take your paint breaks every so often. Don't get the hand cramp. The nice handle makes it pretty portable, though. Really a solid choice here unless you are going to be painting a life-size mural of Andre the Giant. <laughs>